Twistrum in ruins. Talia, the dark elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults, her first dungeon. Twistrum looked like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. What? What have I done? Oh no! I've fallen to evil again! Father will be beside himself! He was right when he said, You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain! Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Burning things, pillaging, and showing those nasty goody two shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> they just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. While Tanya was delivering a typical villainous monologue, something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal, filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued. Again. Hello, greetings. <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. <sighs> right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved revenge! The game logic internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am an evil army. Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. The new, improved research menu, TM, opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Hopefully no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. He's not gonna get up.
Luckily, no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. God, day! A room has been excavated in the underground. Payday! A room has been excavated in the underground. countless spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting! Evil!
Blinding beams of light met the dauntless evil creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <clears throat> Follow me, sons of Rohan. I, I mean, my vicious hordes. Let's get these tree huggers and wimps. The armies of evil reached one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. Your little snots have uncovered a dragon's nest. The little town of good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface and something, guess, evil rose from the depths. This evilness, in a practical spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. The deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men! Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently uh, teaching myself to play the ukulele. A new room has been discovered in the dungeon. Hey, wasn't that Vinny's vegan cuisine? Oh well, no real loss there. <laughs> Time to die! There are enemies in your dungeon. Hey, where does this lead? We should take a closer look. The first heroes had discovered the not-so-well-hidden evil's dungeon and now entered its depths. Of course, the insidious evil had already prepared a despicable reception for them. At least I hope so. Even if that's not the case, I will kill these ridiculous do-gooders myself. They will pay for mocking me over the years. Wait, wait a minute, what am I saying? These are my friends. How can I plan their deaths? Talia had chosen an extremely unfavorable time for moral doubts. Luckily, her evil dark elf heritage prevailed. Hey, Talia. You're evil, so act like it. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Kill them all! 
The bustling evil had dug into a dragon's nest. Hey! Throw me at the enemy! Destroy them all! I'm the Queen of Evil! It's payday. Ha! Showed him! Huh? The armies of evil here? Damn it all, how did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right, men, get ready to attack in waves. Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked all at once? Where's the fun in that? Wave after wave, that's a strategy for real men. Thanks to the enemy's limited tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration, to get the beer and hire the orc dancers. Okay, maybe not orcs. I shudder at the thought. <laughs> They're gonna be child's play. Leave them to me. I mean, hold them back and let them hit you while I deal with them. The second island of the good was mercilessly overrun by the strategically savvy evil's hordes and turned into an evil island. Soon, more of that exquisite evilness would be bubbling to the surface. <laughs> Excellent. Even better than in Dungeons 2. Not that I'm out to plug it or it's fantastic add-on or anything. I'd never do that.
of evil. has been destroyed. Victory is ours. Evil is victorious. <laughs> good thing I switched sides. And so it was that the good camp was destroyed by the battle-wise evil's army. Now it was time to take over all of the good islands. But that would be a cakewalk. Easy as stealing candy from a baby. Candy from a baby? Simple, I asked. Ever tried it? The screaming and crying and fetching their parents and family as reinforcements, and those little beasts bite pretty damn hard. <clears throat> Not that I have any personal experience, of course. The ultimate, chaotic, absolute, whatever evil will be happy. I am. <laughs> Father is gonna be so angry. Uh, mm. Do you really know what you're doing? You wanted to be good. You had dedicated yourself to the light. Stop and really think about your deeds. Can you please just stop with the golem thing? We already had too many Lord of the Rings gags in the last two games. Enough is enough. Exactly. Just shut it, good me. Talia and the destructive evil's army had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Good. No longer existed in this land. Oi! What the hell happened here? Um, uh, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The Dwarven King Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure everything was in order. Thank God the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The Dungeon Heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. Ooh, good. Then all the best, brave warriors, and stop them! Right! I'm out of here. With a plop, Talia dissipated and disappeared to a faraway and safe place. The rest of the sacrificing evil's creatures looked astonished as their general fled, but only for a moment, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant army of good. This is the work of that damn pointy-eared wench. I always warned Thanos that those miserable dark elves couldn't be trusted. Criminals, the lot of them. But enough is enough. I'm going to find that shifty witch and use her ears as bookmarks. 